Good morning, everyone. This is Pastor Nestor, and I welcome you once again to our Virus versus Versus. And today, we're going to have a conversation once again, of course, about the kingdom of God and about the love of God the Father towards us. This week has been a mixed emotion for me. We have just celebrated uh, the birthday of my wife, of course, as a family. Uh, we went out for a weekend, and we just enjoyed together's uh, company. And then to come back once again into the ministry and confronted with so many challenges, in particular, the death of some people. Yeah, you know, two nurses pass away and a doctor pass away. Uh, a good friend of mine passed away a couple of uh, two weeks ago. And um, tomorrow is a sad, sad uh, situation because one of the pastors that we dearly love and pray for, uh, they said the hospital where he was in, they said that they're going to pull the the tube out of um, out of out of his body it's because um, they feel that he is uh, in a coma and there's nothing much that they could do to revive the life of this brother and we've been praying hard for this pastor for since he was in the hospital for the last two weeks until tomorrow at 1 p.m and we're still believing we're still praying that god will turn around and create a miracle before they pull out the tube out of him and uh, you pray, you pray, you pray, and um, waiting for the will of God and the grace and mercy of God to fall. And of course, it's not in our hands. The reason I'm saying this is that I was looking at Psalms 23, wherein David talks about his journey with God. And it's one of my favorite chapters in the Bible because it just reflects the personal relationship that King David had with God. It starts with verse 1 when he said, The Lord is my shepherd. And that alone, it just encompasses how he considers God as his divine shepherd, that he's always ahead of him, guiding him through throughout his life. And in Psalms 23, he walked him through, King David walked us through some of the seasons of his life where God was always there. In every season that he mentioned from verse 1 to verse 6, he starts with, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in one. And then at the end, he said, Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So from his earth experience all the way to heaven's ward, he knows that God is a shepherd, shepherding in every day of his life all the way to, eter to eternal life. But in the middle of this, there is a there is a scripture that is uh, sandwiched, and it's probably one of the darkest time of King David when he said, "Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death," he said, "Even though I walk in the valley of the shadow of death," you know, I don't know if this is just me, but I feel that this pandemic season has has been a season of walking through the shadow of the valley of death. And uh, it's been very, very difficult to digest, you know, people that are close, people that are distant, people that are your friends, you know, when they say that they're gone. In particular, because I, we went through uh, the COVID experience as well as a family, so I am personally impacted every time I hear someone die because it could have been a different story for us. And King David shared this when he said that even though I walked through the valley of the shadow of death. So which means to say that in his life, it was not all green pastures. It was not all about fullness. It was not all about, um, you know, quiet waters. It's not about just restoration of his soul. But there was a time in his life when he was, he had to walk through the shadow of the valley, the, the shadow of, uh, through the valley, the shadow of death. And I think we can learn something out of the experience of King David that he said, when you go through the valley of the shadow of death, the thing that we need to do is just not to run, but just to walk. You know, we cannot usher, we cannot rush moments where, you know, where death is occurring everywhere. You know, tomorrow I will be, I will be praying for this brother and we're looking for a turnaround miracle from God. And if God answers in different way, well, God is God and we are not. It is like we're going through the valley, the shadow of death. Then another sister in the Lord who happens to be the wife of a pastor, you know, he's, she's dealing with a, a stage for cancer brain. Or we're just praying once again for God to deliver her. See, we're just, uh, there are times in your life when you are just surrounded with the shadows of death. You, you may not be dying, but you, there's shadows of death around you. What do we do? The word of God, King David said this, you walk through the valley. You know, it's not that, you know, there, there are no mountaintop experience. There is no Mount Sinai experience at the moment of the valley of the shadow of death. But it's flat, it's plateau, 
Um, you know, it's almost like a flat line. There's no heartbeat. And there are seasons in our life when we feel like that. Not only that there are shadows of death, you're in a valley and you can't run and you can't rest matters, but you just have to walk through. And I just encourage all of us during this difficult time of our life, let's not rush things. We, we walk by faith because the word of God says, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. That's the assurance of the word of God. That God will always be with us. King David experienced this. That even though he went through difficult times in the valley of the shadow of death, God was with him. He he actually experienced the fullness and the, of the presence of God when he was through the valley of the shadow of death. So which means to say our God is a God of all season. Whether it is in green pastures or quiet waters or the restoration of our soul, even through the valley of the shadow of death, God doesn't change. He is faithful to be with us and to accompany us. He said, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. So I just want to encourage all of us through this season of the shadow, uh, the walking through the valley of the shadow of death, that God is not finished with us. We will have our own, you know, we will have our green pastures in a season. We will have our quiet waters in a season. We will have, uh, you know, we will have favor before our enemies. We will have eternal life. We will have the goodness and love will follow us for the rest of our life. But there are moments when we go through the, what the Word of God says, walking through the valley of the shadow of death. Keep walking. You now focus your eyes on Jesus. Keep thanking the Lord for every day. You know, embrace the little things and be grateful for everything that God has blessed us with. Once again, this is Pastor Nestor, and I just thank you for uh, being uh, with me this morning. And may the Lord God bless you today and the rest of this week. And please join us once again this coming Sunday for our 1030 service in digital uh, in digital format as well as in person. We also have our 9 o'clock service in person. Uh, don't forget to check our website, jilfnj.org, as well as our Facebook and um, our YouTube, Jesus is Lord Fellowship, Tom's River. God bless you all. God be with you. Shalom. Bye-bye.